Hey lovelies, welcome back to Cookie Jar Unleashed. I'm your host, Cookie. On today's episode, we're doing things a little bit differently, as you can see. Um, so today, we actually have our very first video podcast, and I'm super excited because the beautiful and lovely and talented Alana Winters will be joining me as my co-host. She should be joining us here shortly, so we'll wait for her to hop on board here. All right. In the meantime, while we wait for her. So yesterday, Alana and I tried. Oh, here she comes. Oh, it said she was there and then she disappeared. Oh, why is she in the audience? Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, you guys. Technical difficulties, but this is why we're doing it like this. Okay, this is why we're doing this. Like this. We're trying something new. Oh. I think she's going to join us. Maybe? We got to wait. It just keeps saying loading and loading. Alana, can you hear me? Yeah, can you see me? Okay, she's still in um, upload land. Is that what it's saying? Okay, so this is a new platform for me to be using. Let me start there. So this is like a trial and error period. There she is. Oh, I am? Okay. Okay. I'm in. I'm already on. (laughs) So there you go, you guys. We have the beautiful Alana Winters, who will be co-hosting with me today. You want to say a few words? Okay, yeah, sorry. (laughs) That would be me. (laughs) <laughs> Hi, I'm Alana Winters. Uh, I'm so excited to be here. We're doing a little book club, author to author kind of thing, just trying it out. And um, that we thought we'd be fun. And we're going to be doing a book by Sammy Starlight called Dead Man's Curve. We're going to be talking about that for a few minutes. And then we're just going to chat with each other and pick each other's brains for a little bit. <laughs> totally winging it. So, yeah, love winging it. There we go. Your camera so you is freezing. Know. Is my camera freezing on your end? No. No. Hmm. We're learning. So. Yeah. Okay. So the book that we... Okay, let's start with how you came up with this idea for a book club to begin with. Because you're the one that came to me with this idea. So... <laughs> um, one of my friends was talking about, like, a book club she was in. And I was like, huh, I've never been in a, like, book club before. And she was telling me some of, like, the funny books that they pick and um like something about a dinosaur or something and i was like oh okay <laughs> oh um, for adults so i was like an adult dinosaur book cool she was like oh but it was hilarious and she was like we would have never read it and so i was like i could see that being like a cool part of being in a book club like somebody picking the book for you and like you don't know what you're going into so um that idea kind of just wrapped into it. i was like oh, wouldn't it be fun if like authors like got together and talked with other authors about like books they're reading like um because we're readers too and you know we take off the little author cap I feel like when we're reading and um even if we know the person (laughs) you know sometimes that's strange but um sometimes it makes me like it even more because I'm like oh that is that's them so you you know you can like see inside their head you're like yeah I can totally see this person making this facial expression or yep that's a phrase she says a lot Exactly. Yeah. So, well, I'm super excited. So, this is our our yeah. guinea pig test trial run, I guess beta. I like maybe beta. Yeah. Beta. Knock yourself out. Go ahead. Yeah, and then hopefully for the next yeah. episode we can have more authors on. That'd be really cool to like get everybody to, to see. see. I'm excited though. I know. I'm excited about that. That'll be fun. So, do you want me to read the blurb? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, just just to give everyone an idea of, you know, what we read. Okay, so Claire's the main character. That's you can tell the them the title. <laughs> I said Dead Man's Curve. <laughs> it's Dead Man's Curve. Sorry. Um, <laughs> okay, so Claire is the maid of honor at her best friend's wedding where she meets Royal, the best man of the group. He's cute and funny, but she's a city girl from Chicago, and he's a country boy that runs a farm in Wisconsin. On paper, they're a horrible match and have nothing in common. Despite that, sparks fly when the two of them meet. 
Find out what happens when these two spend a weekend together. Will it be just a fling, or can they be something more? Dun, dun, right. dun. Mm-hmm. All right. So, I mean, I took notes. Me too. Right. So, as you said, there's Claire and Royal. They're the main the main characters. And then you yes. have Claire's best friend, Danny, which I love the spelling of the name, D-A-N-I. Yeah. Like, I thought that was fun. And then yeah, yeah, you have Danny's fun. significant other, soon-to-be husband, the groom, who is Parker. I really hope they have their own story, side note. Yes. Yeah. I bet so. they do. This is actually a series, and I have a feeling that's... It's... You think so? I have, a, I have a really good feeling about it. <laughs> um... So, first, I love that the cowboy's name was Royal. And I just love the name Royal in general. Like, I've never heard that name before. And it's kind of hot. Also, I like, um, I didn't even really think cowboys were super hot until, like, a year ago. And I really slept on that because TikTok showed me I was wrong. <laughs> I was so, so wrong. <laughs> um, but, like, he's also, like, really sweet and such a gentleman, which... I think it's part of, like, the cowboy thing that you like. You know, it's it's nice because you know he's going to be sweeter and nicer, but he's also, like, can take care of stuff. So um, lots of layers there. Um, and then I was going to say, like, my favorite part of the book was the wedding scene, just because you really get to see, like, the characters, like, protect each other, like, how much they care about each other. Um, and I don't know, it's just nice to see, like, characters, like, bend up for each other and... It was kind of like everyone was in that scene too, so that was fun. See, I like that scene, but for a different reason, because I like the fact that um, Claire's ex shows up to the wedding, you know, and I'm just like, you dirt bag? Like, I think his little dirt bag. Like you said, like seeing Gabe. I was like, who the you hell are you show up to this wedding? <laughs> you know? Yeah, Gabe. I'm like, you, the other characters, like, stick up for each other. Like, I really like that part. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think. My favorite part, though, of all, like, out of the whole book, I really, really, really yeah. the sex scenes. I think Sammy, who's the author, I think she did a really good job at how she wrote them. Like, yeah, I was like, okay, I didn't know Sammy had that in her. Okay, <laughs> she did Very really hot. good. She did really good. So, if you like steamy books, Sammy Starlight does not disappoint on her sex scenes at all at all Mm -hmm. so yeah um we can't give away too much on this particular book this is a shorter read so if you have like maybe like half a day or a day to yourself and you just want to like knock out some reading like this is a quick read um but i'm curious you know like i want you guys like if you do read it like leave a comment because i'm gonna post this podcast on different uh platforms but like leave a comment let us know your thoughts you can as always, as, as I say on all my other podcasts, on the episodes, you know, you can hit me up on Facebook, on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Um, now that you know Alana, you can, I'll leave her link. Oh, by the way, is that okay if I leave your link underneath the podcast as well? Yeah, I would love I that. I was going to do it anyway. That's good because I don't know how <laughs> but, but Yeah, but like message any of us and just let us know like what your thoughts are. Or also, if you have a book that you want us to read. And review on the air. Like, is there a certain genre you you want us to do, Alana, or is it anything? I, mean, I, I could do, I could read anything. You never know. You know, like, yeah. you could find your favorite new book, and it could be something super, super random. Yeah, like, I don't mind reading, like, any just about anything, but, like, my preference is definitely romance. Yeah, like, definitely. I, mean, I think if they... That's why like we write it, too, but. Exactly. So, I, mean, <laughs> I will read a history book. Please don't make yeah. me. But I, I will. Well, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. So, if you guys have a, a recommendation or maybe there's a book that you read and you want to tell us about your book, you want to be a guest on the show, we're all, we're down for that as well. Like I said, we're trying to, uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, what happened? Oh, good.
Oh my god. I'm totally gonna do the walk of shame. Yeah. That's it. Ten minutes in. We're ten minutes in, so to just leave off where we were. That's cool. There you go again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like, this is insane. Okay, I just feel. <laughs> Can you hear me? That's it. Okay, I can see you, but I don't know if you can see or hear me. I can. Okay, there it goes. It gave me back my privileges to record. So, here in Texas, there's an internet provider. It's, it's still recording, by the way. There's an internet provider who likes to... There's a lot of delays in services at specific times. I didn't realize that this happened to be one of those times. Usually, it's whenever I'm trying to watch Monk. That's so, a good show. I mean, yeah. So I was like literally Word. talking and I'm like, I had this spinning thing and I'm like, how am I going to sit there and be spinning when I'm the, when it's my podcast? <laughs> well, I definitely like, broke the ice. Yeah. Definitely broke the ice. So, but again, if you have any suggestions for us or recommendations, yada, yada, yada. Uh, yeah. Let us know. Anyway. Yeah. So Alana, <laughs> tell us, I want if you wouldn't mind, tell everyone about your upcoming Dark Romance Anthology. All right. <laughs> so it's the Dark Obsessions Anthology, and um, my book in it is Throne of Lies. And I kind of started with the inspiration of, if you know the movie Misery, you kind of know it's um, about, like, an author that um, gets kidnapped by a fan, basically, just, just to give you a little bit. So I was like, what if that was a love story? <laughs> I'm, I know. Yeah. Um, so that's basically how it got started. And it's um, Javier and Adeline's story. Um, it's a dark captive romance. She goes to visit her father, who is Javier's live-in chef, and she breaks her knee there. So Javier pulls, you know, all kinds of strings to make sure that she stays there. And... Um, <clears throat> She's an ethical hacker. He is a media mogul who has an underground mafia empire with his family. Um, so there's just lots of action, lots of hotness, and um, hopefully a lot of twists that you aren't going to see coming. Um, I worked hard on those twists, so <laughs> I hope they're there. I bet and they are. Always, yeah. Ooh. But that's I love your names, by the way. Huh? We went. Uh, it's coming out on Tuesday, on September 27th. That's exciting. So, so exciting. It's going to be awesome. How many books are in that anthology? Twelve? Twelve, yeah. That's how much of your promos I've seen. Like, your promo graphics, like, all over social media. Like, I feel like I now know that, like, that whole anthology. Good. That means we're doing our jobs. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so, September 27th. I almost said March, but September 27th. And I then, could not wait till March. Yeah. Okay, so September 27th is your dark romance anthology. And then I yeah. know you have, like, it seems like a book every month. Yeah, I do. Um, so last month was Commanding Her Heart, and that was for the um, part of the Wounded um, Hero series, which there's, like, 64 authors in that. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, like, a lot. Um but they're all military romances, and it's a really good series. Um, cool. Yeah, like, my characters are uh, Cortez and Emmy, and they both have, like, really heartwarming stories that bring them together. And so that's my book that's out now. And then Dark Obsessions will be out on Tuesday. And right now I'm working on A Touch of Envy, which is going to be mm. in the Vices in uh, Virtue series. And um, that's, like, a Princess Bride retelling. 
So oh, I'm that's a, a nice little twist. Yeah, it's so much fun. And so it's going to be like a captive romance, but um, it's it's funny, too. <laughs> so it's like a rom-com, a dark rom-com? It is kind of. I was like, I was trying to figure out how to, like, describe that because it's definitely got its dark romance, like, elements. But I was like, yeah. no, I was like, it's dark rom-com a thing? Like, it should be. Definitely, yeah, like, it's it definitely there like there's parts where it's super dark but there's also parts that are like really funny um i think <laughs> and what's the name of that one touch uh, of it's a touch of envy okay so like everybody has like a vice or a virtue and i was so happy that i got envy because i mean that's just fun. that's a fun one right <laughs> and that one's up for pre-order now yes okay yeah and that, so we have september october and yeah. then november november is the Baker's Peony, and you did the beautiful cover for those for the oh. Flatter of the Month series. Um, and so mine, of course, is him holding a peony in the back, and it's awesome. I love it. Um, so that one's going to be an age gap daddy romance, which I have not done before. So that's going to be really fun. Um, and I love this name. His name's Iverson Vogel. What's his last name? Vogel. Spell that. V O G E L. Oh, so that's how you say that. What? Oh, I've, yeah. I've like, seen it written before, but I've never um, known how to say it. Right, yeah. I, yeah, I don't know how I came across that last name, and it just sounded really good with the first name. I like it. And, yeah, I was like, hmm. I, I've never met an Iverson before, but I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> what the hell? Why not? Love meeting okay. people. Okay, so that's your <laughs> November release. What about yes. December? December is Silent Night Stalkers. I love that that's, name. In New, that's in the New Orleans uh, Christmas series, and that's going to be a paranormal reverse harem. <laughs> Do you usually write paranormal? I've only done it once. Okay. Also. And, I, and I didn't even um, publish it on, like, um, Amazon. It's on uh, Dream. Like, you know that website? Or it's like an app. I remember you mentioning it. Yeah. Um, so I sold a couple of stories to them before I started, like, publishing my books on Amazon, and I regret it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, half the time I don't, but then I'm like, I don't know, you just are always curious if it would have done better or had a better yeah. audience on Amazon, you know? But I was new, so I don't regret it too much. You live and you learn, though, when you first start out, you know? So. You sure do. And, True story. I mean, they pay me every month, so I'm not crying about it well as long as they're paying you because i know i've heard horror stories of people like don't get paid anything really yeah uh, not necessarily from them but i mean like in general from other platforms yeah it's weird like um i mean they're worried about paying me so that's good but um it's strange because um like the people on the app pay with coins and stuff. So, like, trying to figure out what you're going to get. It's like, I don't know what their system is. I don't know what oh. 400 coins equals in dollars. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I don't know. So, they're working on making that a little bit better, which is nice. Because there was a long time where I was like, we'll find out <laughs> how much I'm getting this month. Yay. It's a surprise. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But I'm surprised that it's going to pay my bills or it's not. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I don't know, that's really interesting to, like, start in a way, like, doing something like that. It's, it's so different than Amazon, how they do things. Um, yeah. Amazon's definitely, definitely a bigger, a bigger yeah. platform, though. Right, for sure. Yeah. And they can afford to adapt, you know, try new things, whereas smaller companies, it's harder for them to do, like, those fancier, modern, like, apps and such, so... Yeah, and I don't know, like, one month I, like, shockingly got, like, more than I usually do because they said they sold, like, an audio version of it in another oh. country somewhere. So I think it's, I, I don't know, some language, there is an audiobook there. And I'm like, my first audiobook and I can't listen to it? <laughs> I don't know where it is. Well, someone's listening to it. That's all that matters. Yeah, I mean, oh. I, I, I don't know. I guess that's cool. I mean, it is cool, but um, yeah, that's know. funny. 
Like you weren't even aware of it. Just all of a sudden your audio books. Or I have no idea where to find it. I mean, it wouldn't be in a language I would understand anyways, but yeah, we still listen to it. And just to say like, this is my book, you know, right. I didn't just hope and pray that they're actually saying what you've written on the page. Yeah. I probably would only understand like the characters names when they're said, but I would still be like, Oh, so he is reading my book. Yeah. Instead <laughs> of being like, I don't know who this person is. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> That's funny. So, yeah. Well, okay, so I'm trying to keep track of all your books. So we're up to December. Yeah. Do we dare oh, jump into January? Yeah. No, it's not. Um, it's, I don't know. I actually don't really know what I am writing for January. I know everything after that, but yeah. um, like I kind of think I know which book I'm going to end up writing, but I don't want to say it because I don't want to make myself have to stick to it if I change my gotcha. mind. Are you planning on releasing like once a month? Yeah, I thought you were I, to I, do away from that. Um, yeah, I was going to, but I actually got into a rhythm with it where oh. um, I know I finally just figured it out, like how I can do it and manage everything. And um, I think also just because for a while I was doing two books at once, and just that became my norm. And like, it's not that I can't do that. But I did find myself with, um, when I was doing Commanding Her Heart, there were a lot of times where I was, like, confusing characters. And I was like, oh, you're not even in this book. <laughs> Oopsie. Oops, Daisy. <laughs> so, um, that you. was, I don't know, it was, like, funny every time it happened, but then I was like, oh, that's a serious problem. Cause... Especially if you don't catch it. <laughs> I've had that happen to me, personally, and I'm like... Really? I've had a yeah. reader tell me, like, uh, who's this person? And I'm like, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> that was just a test. You want a free book? I'll oh. give you another book. <laughs> yeah, I turned into, like, a game. Like, if you can find something wrong with it, then I'll, I'll give you a free book. <laughs> so, yeah, so. Not a bad system. Yeah, until, like, everyone starts pointing out different things. And I'm like, no, that's not even what I was talking about. Like, how did you... <laughs> no. So, that's funny. Yeah. I hear a kid, he's in the other room, like, having a conniption. So, like, I try to calmly bring out my phone. And I've been texting him underneath the desk. If you don't... <laughs> I just... Have you... Oh, that's so sneaky. You're such a good, like... That's really good. I had no idea you were. Yeah, I was like... I kept glancing up at the camera. I'm like, trying to keep a straight face. Like, my eyes twitching. I'm like... No, that's such a pro-multitasking <laughs> mom move. Seriously. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this child. I'm surprised you couldn't hear him. Like, he's throwing a conniption with his game right now. And I'm like, I had no, to be I professional. I no? can't hear him. I'm like, ah, this child. <laughs> ah. But, all right. Let me see what else I had down for my to-do list for you here. You ready for You want to be in the hot seat for a minute? Mm -hmm. I, mean, I guess you kind of were in the hot seat, but now really in the hot seat. All right. You sure? I can feel some heat. Dun, dun, dun. All right, it's nothing yeah. sexual, though, so don't get your hopes up too high, okay? All right. <laughs> All right. What would be the title to your memoir? Hmm. Probably, this is like, don't get on this hot mess train. <laughs> I can get with that. I like that title. I think that's appropriate. No offense. Yeah. No, yeah. no, I know it is. Like a crazy train probably don't want to get on it <laughs> <laughs> avoid it ha it makes no stops you just gotta throw yourself off no literally never stops like just all the time <laughs> yeah that's fair okay it's like fun crazy but you know you don't want too much of that well i love you and i think you're awesome so it doesn't matter how crazy you are or your train right i just wouldn't suggest other people getting on it like i'm stuck on it it's a life show. It's my path. Watch from afar. <laughs> just wave, like, it's fun to see it and just wave by. It's fun just, to experience it. It's an don't experience. try to get on it. Just don't get on it. Yeah. Experience it. <laughs> That's funny. I say that all the time about my life. I'm like, it's like being on a roller coaster, blindfolded, with no seat belt, the roller coaster's on fire, half the track is missing, and it sometimes goes backwards. And there's nobody running it but you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't 
<laughs> you can't get off it. <laughs> that is so true. No, that's not it. Actually, I mean, I was going to ask you what your memoir would be, but I feel like that's pretty similar. Very similar. Like very similar. There's wheel of fire. <laughs> yeah, like I, I don't know if I can fit the whole roller coaster spiel on the top on the front of a cover, but if I could, yeah, that's what it would be. And I said Ferris wheel, but yeah, roller coaster is. Yeah, I knew what you meant. It's okay. I know. I just pictured you being stuck on a Ferris wheel at the top, and like the guy's not down there, and you're like, oh, that's right, I run this. Yeah, and there's a tor- there's a tornado coming by, some mm-hmm. flying cows, you know, the usual. So there's cows in there. Yeah, the usual. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what is the craziest habit or thing you do while writing or your writing process? Either Mm. one. I don't know if it's crazy, but I'm for sure nobody else has told me they do this. Um, so when I'm writing, especially, and I don't do it all the time, but especially when I'm writing like the male characters, like I try to like get into like a more masculine like headspace and try to like think like them and I'm being that person while I'm writing them, kind of. Yeah. Um, So, um, I used to get, like, cologne samples, and I would just, like, put that on, so I would just, like, smell it. And then I started making, like, um, or buying masculine-scented candles and, like, lighting those. And so I just kind of, I don't know, I like senses a lot. Like, they really, like, affect, like, my creativity, I feel like. So, I don't know, for instance, if I was writing about a snowstorm, maybe I would, like, jack up my AC or something. (laughs) So, like, I really... You know, so, like, I, I can feel, like, they're feeling or something. Um, but, I don't know, it just, it makes it more real for me, and then I feel like I'm getting more details in. I honestly think you're the first person to say that. But I don't think it's a bad thing, though, at all. Like, I think no. that's... I mean, my candle budget's crazy, but... <laughs> this is your Yankee candles. Yeah, well, I started making my own candles, so, because I was like... This I can get pricey, candle. too, though. It, it can, but, um, I don't know, now it's like, I have a gift for somebody whenever I need to have a gift for somebody. That's awesome. It's only <laughs> half used. <Yeah. laughs> so, like, I I, I'm no longer on the scene. <laughs> oh, you know, I will give you a used candle next time, just because you okay. said As a joke now, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. That one. My only next question for, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> Uh, how many minutes did you say? Forty? <laughs> I know forty. Yeah, that would be really. It's only forty funny. minutes used. Yeah, that's still that's still new for a candle. It's newish. <laughs> new I like newish. I can work with that. Yeah, I can um, work with that too. Most. <laughs> well, we already went kind of over that. Most recent book written, but I guess it should be what book are you currently writing in? Oh, the Touch of Envy is the one I'm writing right now. Okay. Yeah. Um, which is, like, the Princess Bride retelling. Um, that's been really fun to do. But, like, we were talking about before, like, um, you know, writing anything different is, like, it's a challenge. And I love challenges. Really but, like, I'm, I feel like I'm taking it too far. Like, every time I, like, think of something, I'm like, oh, let's just give that creature a different name and a magical power. <laughs> So, How extreme can I go with this? Yeah, so I'm like, I don't know, that's the good thing about, like, not publishing right away is that you can look at it the next day and be like, that's a good idea. That's freaking weird. <laughs> that I happens we sometimes where I'm like, you know, it's it's great to be creative, but sometimes, like, it's weird. You draw it's it in weird. a little bit. Or a different book, though. You know, like, maybe not for this book, but for something else. And that's happened a lot, too. Like, I have so many documents open that are just, like, later ideas. <laughs> mm. Like, I literally have a document that's called Later Ideas. <laughs> just for later. Like, when you have the we'll time. To you. Or you just can't think of anything that day. Maybe you can grab a little idea from that document. You never know. I have a lot but of documents like that, too, where it'll have, like, um, like a title. Maybe I came up with a title already. And then, like, it'll have, like, a short, like, maybe not even sentences. Like, more like a list like, main main female character, blah, blah, blah. Main male, you know. And then yep. I'll never see that again for, like, a year or two. And then all of a sudden I'll be like, hey, I think I had a document one time. I was working on a story. And I'll go back and I'll find it. Sorry, my kid's at the window saying, can I have more time on my phone, please? Like, Oliver Twist, remember, please, sir, may I have some more? <laughs> so that's, my, 
<laughs> That's my kid right now in the window. Because it's like um an exterior door. Because it's kind of like, it's like a sunroom or whatever. And oh, so okay. it's an exterior door and it has like a window on it. So he's like, <laughs> please, mom. Like, uh, like, what part of leave me alone did you not understand? <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. This question I already know the answer to. But those who have never maybe read any of your books or don't know you very well and want to know you well, are you a planner or are you a pantser? I'm a planner big time. Um, I honestly have so much respect for pantsers. Like, I <laughs> it's too hard. Like, just the other day I was like, don't look at your outline. Just get into this chapter and just see what happens. I couldn't do it for two minutes. I, like... <laughs> Not even two minutes. I was back in my outline. I was like, I need to know what happens. I can't oh. write this. Like, I, because I thought about it, and I was like, if I just do that, then it's going to mess up the flow with everything else I have. So I was like, you can't just yeah. go all wild. And, you know, I mean, to a degree I can. But um, I know there's a lot of times where, like, I'll start, like, writing a story, and, then, like, my friends will be like, oh, I've already been writing that for, like, two weeks. And I'm like, yeah, I'm still at the outline. And they're like, I'm like, but everything's in my outline. I was like, the whole book. That's I just, true. I've seen your outlines. Her, yeah, her outlines like, are very in depth. Yeah, so it's just like it's all there. I just have to like transcribe it into a language other people would understand. <laughs> <laughs> like my scribbles. Oh, do you ever like just write like you get like an idea before bed and you just scribble it down and then like you're like, oh, I've got this brilliant idea to wake up to. Yay! Can't wait to work on it. And it's just chicken scratch and like I've no and then I get so bummed because I'm like I was so excited about that idea I know something good because yeah you're trying to read it you're like <laughs> like I think that's a T or it's yeah, a W maybe. or it's a 3 <laughs> like, oh, yeah it's, it's, it's frustrating because I do that a lot I, I like to keep notebooks like everywhere basically um I don't know because like I just the best ideas happen to happen when you're taking the trash out <laughs> No, or, or driving. I'll be at a stoplight yeah. and I'll just be like side riding. Like, I don't even look over here. I'm just like, okay, I know my pen's on the receipt and I just like jot down whatever it is. Oh, I have so many like receipts that I've written on, like just little ideas or um, yeah. you'll just hear somebody say something on the street and you're like, oh, that's a good idea. Good I like that. Something or yeah, good dialogue or um Somebody will call her grandma or something, and you're like, oh, I forgot that's a nickname for grandmas. And uh, so now I'm just like, sit at the airport all day and just like study people, and I don't know, like just get all of like everything they say and just like write it down. You'd have like a gazillion like works in progress if you did that. Yeah. Um, so you probably shouldn't do that ever. Wait, wait, actually, that sounds like a war blood. <laughs> it's like, already ever, like, never do like, that. Yeah, it's already difficult enough to, like, um, not want to work on all of the stories you know that you are planning for the year. Like, yeah. not wanting to work. I want to work on them all at the same time. And then when I start thinking about, like, other ideas for later, I'm like, can we just just stick to the year? <laughs> like, don't. Let's focus. Yeah. Too many ideas. Um, which I feel like a lot of um, authors have that issue is just, like, um, yeah, you just have so many ideas, and you can only write so many stories at once. So it's you know, like one day I'll get to it. One day. That's the famous last word. I'll get to it. One mm -hmm. day. One day. You know? Yeah. It's like never ending. Like it's just like a revolving door. It just keeps going. As soon as you get to that one project, you've already have twenty million more like right behind it. Exactly. And then you're just okay. trying to, like, prioritize it or take one of your stories and trying to make it work for something else. Um, yeah, I've done that, too. Uh, yeah, I've had that actually, like, luckily work out so many times where, like, I end up in an author series and um, whatever they're doing, I'm like, oh, I already had an idea that would have worked for this. And, like, awesome. Yeah, well, you're hoping you have a story that works for that. You're like, please, God, please. Yeah. Please, if you have something that's, like, already, like slightly developed um yeah but I, I love doing like the outline phase and the research phase like it's so much fun for me <laughs> that's like your jam right there it really has become like I'll just um and <laughs> I think we all joke about this too like the things we end up like searching could definitely get us arrested 
Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. I mean, our guys are on top of it. They they know what we do. <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> yeah, we I guess. Would be, like otherwise we would be. Um, yeah, like oh, so many things. Like sometimes I'm just like searching it and I'm like, I don't even feel comfortable searching this, but it's my job. <laughs> you know what I've done in the search bar? I'll put. Uh, dear FBI guy monitoring me, I'm searching this for book purposes, and then I'll hit search, and then I'll go on to my actual search. <laughs> hey, that's being safe. I mean, double yeah. up. <laughs> exactly, like, protection. I'm like, because you, yeah. you know they gotta think we're, like, batshit crazy. You know, yeah, like, like, we're not alone, so, like, I, I'm never really, like, actually scared of it, but, I mean, there are definite times where they've done certain books, and I'm like, this could be the thing. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that lands me in jail. Yeah, this could be the list. Like, you know what? We don't care that you're an author. Yeah, but no. no. <laughs> They're like, so. sure, you're an author. Right. <laughs> like, no, really, yeah. I am. So, I'm like, I didn't mean to come across that. I had no idea. That's, that's true, because that's why I'm very careful not to click links, usually. Like, I'm yeah. like, okay, I guess fact check the link before I click on the link, you know? But I'm like, what am I clicking on? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the there's web. links everywhere. You can just touch, I mean, they can put links in a photo, too, so, like, you could just accidentally click down on the photo, and all of a sudden, you're on the dark web. Who knows where exactly. you are? That's like, I know I'm not supposed to information, so I didn't see it, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> Backspace. I did not mean that. <laughs> I promise. I swear. Also, if it means anything, I'm going to forget tomorrow. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You let us. me live. You know, just let me live. You don't have to kill me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, trust me, we'll forget. We're like the 51st dates, you know? We're, if we don't record it, somewhere, we're not going to remember it. Yeah, and I'm not going to record oh. it, so. Yeah, exactly. We're good. So. Basically. Ready for the next question? Yes. Yeah. All right, this one's going to be the one that has the author staring at you. The romance authors. I'm going to be more specific. Okay. What is your least favorite romance subgenre? Oh, okay. Um, I say, like, my... I'm not a huge fan of, like, the bully, like, like genre. That. Like, I don't really get it. Um... I mean, I guess, like, he's a bad boy, and, like, he's eventually just good for her, so I kind of get it, but it's just, it's not my thing, really. Yeah, I don't get to that. I don't want to see, like, the guy, like, be mean to her, or, like, treat her bad, and that's real life. <laughs> like, that's the most divine So I'm, like, when I'm reading, I want to, like, escape to a beautiful land where everything's perfect. Yeah, and, yeah you know, that's true. I'm, I'm the same way with the bully genre. I can't, I don't even think, like, to readers who read that, you know, good for you, that's awesome, just my personal preference. Like, I don't like to write it, you know, and I don't like to read it. Yeah, and, like, I, I kind of do get why people like it, it just, I don't. It just doesn't do anything. I'm like, yeah. like you said, that's, like, reality. Like, you can, you know, let's, like yeah. you're trying to escape reality. You're not trying to bring it with you into the pages. <laughs> right, and, like, I don't want to see her, like, suffer. I don't want to see her cry. Like, I don't I mean, yeah. like, and I mean, yeah, like, sometimes you are, and it also, that's a mood thing. You know, like, sometimes you do want to watch, like, a sad movie or read a sad book, but, like, rarely. Yeah. I rarely do. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I, my thing, I'm, like, when it comes to movies, like, I don't like sappy where you're, like, <laughs> you're crying the whole time. Like, yeah. I don't know. I want happy or sexy, steamy. Exactly. Funny, something. I mostly watch funny, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. Or action. Love action. Let's see, there you go. Yeah. Trying to think if I had any other random questions for you. <laughs> but since we've been friends for a while now, like, I feel like I know everything, so I'm just assume like, everyone else knows everything about you. I would love that. <laughs> like, everyone else should know about you. Let me think. I have, like, all these notes. My notes are written, like... Insane, like. Oh, I it's, it's I did mine. To my madness. I did mine in pink for you. Your girl <laughs> probably organized though, because you're a planner. 
and I'm a pantser. They, they actually are a little bit, but see, I'm a little bit. Do you have bullet points next to them? You do, don't you? I see that look. A little, like some of it, yeah. <laughs> but they're little stars. They're like asterisks, really. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Well, yeah, I just know myself. Like, if I don't put, like, a little thing there, then I'll just be like, oh, that wasn't important. I don't, I don't know. It's just... Like, just meanwhile, mine are, like, arrows pointing here and there. <laughs> no, like, seriously, like, even, like, my organization, mm. nobody would ever say I'm organized. They would, like, be like, I don't understand this. This doesn't make any sense. Like, yes, I'm a planner, but, like, um, it wouldn't make sense to anybody but me. But that's who it's supposed to make sense to. No, but I know, but I feel like a lot of people could come in and, like, see someone's, like, plan for a book and be like, okay, and, like, oh. kind of, like, step in and, you know what I mean, see where it's going and stuff. People would look at my outline and be like, is that English? What, <laughs> what, what does this mean? And, like, and I'll just have, like, random, like, slang things that I just make up or, like, I'll throw in random jokes and they'll be like, why is this here? You just wouldn't know, like, why anything is there, I guess, is what it, the main point is. And it also would just probably not be legible. Nope. So there's I that. I remember too. I read one of your outlines, and it was like, and I don't even know why I did either. I think because you just wanted, like, my opinion or something. And so I get to, like, one point, and it's like, see chapter nine. So I had to scroll all the way down to chapter nine in this outline. Then it was like, see chapter five. And I'm like, go back up. <laughs> See chapter twenty three, and I'm like, "What the hell is she doing? Is she making fun of me?" <laughs> it's like an egg hunt. You're like, <laughs> no, and I, I, do that, like, I do that all the time. Honestly, like I'm just like, this is gonna make sense here, and this is gonna make sense here, and this is a seed that you're planting in chapter five that's gonna, you know, grow in seven, and it's yeah, it's just um, it, like said, it was like an egg hunt. <laughs> it totally was. <laughs> right. Exactly. It was fun though. But yeah, it's a fun trip. Yeah, I was like, like I think eventually I'm gonna read her outline. I think maybe if I can figure out where it starts at. <laughs> Refer to. No, it was yeah. cute though. Yeah. Cool. I think. <laughs> Should have been more organized. So, I think this went better, ish. Well, other than my technical difficulties, like three times. At least it was you in this. I mean, I'm usually the one with the technical difficulties, so. Okay, you guys. So yesterday, <laughs> yesterday we tried doing this on Skype, <laughs> and Alana decided she wanted to, <laughs> she wanted to refresh her page. I did just and so, <laughs> Okay, and her, okay. Yeah, you're right. I guess we should say that part first. She froze, so she wanted to refresh her page because I could hear her. But she was just kind of stuck there. And so yeah. she, she, I, did you refresh it or did you just hit end call? No, I, I did. I like pressed the like refresh it. But like as soon as I went to do it and like actually pressed it, I was like, this is going to be bad. And then it just yeah. went down. I was like, yeah. Because at the same time, I'm going, no, wait, I think that ends. And right then, <laughs> whoop, the call yeah, ends. Like, literally, like, I feel like you were about to say something like, don't do it. And then my gut was like, don't do it. And then my finger was like, do it. <laughs> do it anyway so well the good stupid thing is like for the, huh i said my fingers stupid rubble yeah no it totally was like bloop. but the good thing about today's thing is like so the video you know yeah we had some issues but that's more like bloopers behind the scene type thing and then like for when I upload it to other platforms I can do it's just gonna be the audio so I can like splice it so really, the people watching the video are getting to see all of us right now. So, yeah. So there's like a bug flying around here. It's like a. I guess it came from oh. outside. Sorry. It's like driving. Yeah, no, it's like fruit flies right now too. And like <laughs> when we were talking earlier, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm probably yeah. really crazy right now. Like I'm like looking at like a ghost or something, or like I don't know. Yeah. Well, this I mean, used to be like a sunroom, and so. <laughs> The outside door's right here, and I guess there might be, like, a little gap in the door. And so they see all this light I have on, you know, and it, they're like, ooh, hello. 
Yeah. So. And I've been trying not to stare at them this whole time, so I'm just like casually, you know, like, <laughs> can we get <laughs> So, but no, I had a lot of fun. And then our next episode, are we going to do, wait, another next month? Yeah. Or whatever you want. Huh? Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Oh, no pressure. No. Okay, cool. No pressure. <laughs> yeah. So for those of you listening to us right now, be sure, for one, like I said, I'm going to post the link to Alana. She can go click on all of her books. We'll start there and then pre-order her books that are coming up. And again, the 27th. <laughs> for, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. For the Dark like, Romance Anthology. I was trying to, but yeah. I was like, it looked like a circle. I don't know. I knew what you meant, though. It looked like, a, like you had it going on. I have I keep fidgeting with stuff. But. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going <laughs> to post the link. And then also, if you guys have any recommendations or suggestions to make the podcast better. But be nice, though, because, again, this is our first go on the whole video thing. Because usually on my audio, we can keep re-recording, re-recording, and then I'll just splice it all. Right now, you guys are just seeing us just throwing ourselves out there. So, with your recommendations, be kind. Like, always. I love to get some reading recommendations. I yeah. love when people tell me, like, oh, I read this book. It's so good. Because then you're already, like, halfway know it's going to be good. And you're not, you know, stepping into a book blind, I guess. But Yes. So, if you have highly recommended books, we would love, 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 love it. So, yeah. Preferably for me, I'd be happier with romance. But I mean, if you have some book that is his a history book, but has a little bit of romance, I could probably get through it. (laughs) Not happily, but I'll get through it. (laughs) Yeah. But yeah. So don't be shy. Be sure to leave likes, comments, share all that fun stuff for us as well for this podcast. Alana, thank you again for being on the show. I'm so excited to be on this adventure with you. Uh, me too. And I just love doing this with you. So anytime I get to have extra social time with you is a win for me. So, Yay. <laughs> Anything else you wanted to say to the viewers, listeners? Um, I just want to say thank you so much for listening to us and being here. And um, we hope we're going to see you again and that we get to keep doing this. It'll be really fun to keep doing this. I really would love that. Yay. All right, you guys, as always, bye.